If you're willing to leave the city of Charlotte to acquire more land, better quality materials, a better price point and amenities, I have got the perfect community for you. Today, we're gonna do a tour of two floor plans here at this beautiful new construction community located in Denver. Yes, I did say Denver, North Carolina, which is just outside of Mecklenburg County, which is where the city of Charlotte is. Stay tuned, this one is gonna be amazing. If we haven't had the pleasure of meeting before, my name is Yadi Karina Jones, and I'm a realtor here in Charlotte and the surrounding areas with Lifestyle International Realty. And I create videos like this to show you what it's like to live, work, and play here in this area. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel yet, please, I encourage you to do so, so you can continue learning more about this wonderful, wonderful city. If you're thinking about making a move to this area, I'd love to be a resource for you. Feel free to connect with me using any of the contact information below. My favorite is when you set up a Zoom call with me because then I get to see you and you get to see me. Now, let's find out more about the area of Denver and what it has to offer you. Denver, North Carolina is a small town of about 2,800 residents located in Lincoln County. It is about 30 minutes north of Uptown Charlotte and about 30 minutes north of Charlotte Douglas Airport. The biggest allure to this area has got to be hands down Lake Norman, where you can come and drop your boat in a public access area. Residents of this town love to hang out at places like Joey's Place, as well as Lake Norman Brewery, Betty's Ford Park, and Rescue Squad Park. While Denver, North Carolina does have a suburban rural feel to it, one of the things that I love about the Bella Vista community by KB Homes is that you are going to find that it is very centrally located for all of the things you need. It's just minutes away from the highway. It's also minutes away from shopping centers where you'll find places like Walmart, Starbucks, Panera Bread, Chick-fil-A, and there's even an Atrium Health Urgent Care Center. The schools that are zoned to this area are going to be Catawba Springs Elementary, East Lincoln Middle, and East Lincoln High School. What is interesting about KB Homes is that unlike other builders who name their floor plans an actual name, KB actually names them by numbers, so they represent the square footage that the home actually is. Today, we're going to have the pleasure of seeing the 1910, which is a floor plan that's a ranch. It's a one-story plan. And the 2338, which is a two-story plan. The first floor plan we're going to look at today is called the 1910. This is a ranch floor plan. It has up to four bedrooms, so it can be either three bedrooms and a flex or a total of four bedrooms. And it has two bathrooms and a two-car garage. This floor plan opens up into a foyer. I love the way that they move the closet over to give you enough room to add a console. You can put a mirror there. Um, you can do what they did and add art. On this side is the garage door and that leads to a two car garage. And you have this entire open concept space. This kitchen right here has been treated as a gourmet kitchen. Uh, where they've added the hood. But one of the things that I do want to comment on at KB Homes, they do not automatically include an island. So they are following a European style kitchen, which uses workstations, as you'll see in the next floor plan that we look at. This one right here, they did include the island. Typically, most people are going to go for the island unless they like the idea of buying something and having it set and they can move it maybe if they want to utilize this space another way this back here is a double covered porch um, so it does not typically come with this much slab but you can of course purchase it uh, at bella vista you can do what's called to be built which is you designing it from the floor up you selecting the lots and um, 
designing all of adding all of your design features as well as you can buy an inventory home this right here uh, beautifully done very light floors so if you're into that you know you can get whatever you prefer in the design center of course it will take about eight to nine months to build it um, but if you're willing to wait you will get the home that you prefer this right here is a flex space it can be turned into a bedroom so they can add doors and make that a full bedroom here you have another secondary bedroom uh, you can see that it has a double door closet so plenty of space for a guest or for you know teenager or younger person um, and then of course you have your laundry area this laundry area is quite big I always love a laundry area that allows you to put a hamper in there that's like a big thing to me you'll hear me talk about it all the time in this bathroom right here you do have the option of putting double sinks you do not have to you can just put a single sink um, but the double sink does work well when you have a multitude of guests like Thanksgiving or holidays that are coming up and uh, here you have another bedroom it's a nice size because you can see that it has two nightstands flanking it so it's definitely a nice size bedroom and then here you have another double closet now as we walk down the hallway so this right here I love that they put that flex space there so if you keep the flex space it does give you some separation from your secondary bedroom if you don't keep the flex space then of course you have a bedroom right next to you and so that's something you have to decide if it's you know if there aren't many people living in the home then it may not matter to you because the only time you have guests on your side of the house is when you have people staying with you or visiting um, but if you have multiple family members this floor plan may not appeal to you if you want to be separated from the other family members or guests in the home so it is not a split plan like we typically see especially when you have a, a two-story it is a beautifully done plan though when you see it in person it is just a very smart floor plan but that is something to consider that the primary bedroom is on the same side as your secondary bedrooms here you have your double sinks and a beautifully sized primary bedroom this is the 2338 it is about the one plan that i see in every single community kb is building so for the 2338 there are going to be four different elevations some of those are going to get you a porch some of those aren't so that's a very important detail to keep in mind because you're going to have to pay more um, if you want an elevation that does give you that porch and you can put your chairs out there now um i call it a facade interior design school we called it a facade but a lot of builders call it an elevation one of the things about this floor plan right here is that you have the option of making it a five bedroom it could be a three bedroom it could be a five bedroom it could have two and a half baths or it could have three baths now how that happens is this front room that you just saw that is currently an office can be transformed into of course you have to build it um, can be made into a bedroom right so that would then be the fourth bedroom and once that happens that conversion now changes the powder room to a full bathroom so this is a great multi-generational living home if you have someone like a parent or something like that that needs a room on that lower level this is a great home to do it with if the square footage isn't too big it isn't too small so um, you don't feel like you're cramped, but at the same time, you don't have to buy a massive home to get the multi-generational living. Now, this floor plan starts at about 429, um, 429,000, whereas the 1910 that we just saw starts at about 419,000. Now you can get homes as low as in the high 300,000s in this area but of course keep in mind that once you add design features or even if it's a spec and design features have been added that is going to um, incrementally increase the price of the home so you can get over 10 floor plans in this community 
They start in um, square footage from 1,445 square feet to 3,147. And don't take for granted that these ceilings are automatic. One thing about KB Homes is that they start at the eight foot mark and in order to get a nine foot ceiling, that is an upgrade. So the, the good thing about it is that typically builders will decide what height the second floor is. So this one right here is eight feet. You can make it a nine foot floor. So you can add to that. And one thing that I like about KB is that the upgrades are not outrageous. I mean, you're not talking a hundred. I've gone to some builders and for you to get the home you desire, you're looking at a hundred to $150,000 in upgrades. That is not the case here at all. For, for anywhere from like 30,000 to 50,000, you can get a well-appointed home at KB Homes. Now, um, one thing about KB is that they pride themselves on having energy efficient homes. And they even estimate that you could save over a thousand dollars just by living in one of their homes in terms of your energy costs for the year. One other thing that I wanna point out is, like I said, with the islands, that's not automatic. If you know you want an island, which typically the style here in the US is to have an island, then you know that you're gonna add it. It is a European kind of um, component to the home where they're using a workstation. So definitely keep that in mind. They do have the option of adding a fireplace, which I love because I don't know where else you put the stockings. Like if you celebrate Christmas, you need to put your stockings somewhere and that's what the fireplace is for. Now, do I ever turn on the fireplace? Absolutely not because it is expensive to run it, but it is a beautiful feature. I always feel like if your house is more than 500,000, you should be looking at adding a fireplace to keep that value. Another thing is this this floor plan gives you the option of five bedrooms, which means that you would lose your loft. If you don't need that fifth bedroom, I certainly wouldn't recommend that. People love that secondary entertaining area, especially if you have children and you want them upstairs while you're entertaining downstairs, or if you have a spouse that loves to watch TV. I don't watch any TV. Like I could live without TVs in my house other than to YouTube. But if you have someone that they love to watch TV before they go down to sleep, that's the perfect space to do it. So I would not get rid of that loft. I would actually go ahead and get a bigger home to get that fifth bedroom rather than give up a loft. This bathroom right here is an upgraded bathroom, which means you get that water closet, um, which is very typical here in North Carolina. And you also have the option of upgrading it to a different type of bathroom, which gets you a tub. So now you have a tub and a stand-up shower in your bathroom. And you know, builders have gotten away from the tub, so it's pretty cool that KB does give you that option. So just know that if you want a tub, you can have one. If you think Denver, North Carolina might be the right place for you, feel free to connect with me using any of the contact information below. My name is Yadi Karina Jones, and I'm a real estate agent with Lifestyle International Realty here in Charlotte and the surrounding areas. If you're looking to make a move here, I'd love to be a resource. I'd love to connect with you again. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so so you can continue learning more about the Queen City. Thanks for watching. See you soon.